Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to bring your scopes from ZBrush right to Blender using GOB, like go or the GOZ. No UVs required for this process. You can bring the information of your polypaint directly to Blender. So let's get to it. First you're going to go to this website, Jose Pineseco, GOB, and I'm going to leave this in the description below. Go code, download zip, and you're going to be downloading the zip here. Once your file is downloaded, go to edit in Blender preferences. You're going to go to install. And make sure you go add-ons install. Eh? So install, you're just going to browse for the location where you uh, have your add-on or your zip file that you just downloaded in my case i just have it in my d drive youtube cbs to blender and gov master and just install i already have installed it but just go install add-on so once that is installed it's just going to show you um, let's see go in so it's just going to bring you this uh, import export gov so make sure you check it here and it's going to ask you for the ZBrush pad. In the ZBrush pad, you're just going to go look for your ZBrush. In my case, it's in program files, Maxon ZBrush 2023, and you're going to get the executable file here in ZBrush. Um, uh, press accept. Once you do that, you can close this, and then you're going to have here this little window export you can export from here to ZBrush import and manual i haven't tried this one but i'm just gonna go with import so i'm gonna activate this one first just leave it activated and i'm gonna go back to my ZBrush file so in my ZBrush file that I have activated i'm gonna use the goz like the gozi to bring this so all it will bring all the sub tools and i'm just gonna go with visible i'm gonna click visible and continue it's going to give me some warning that uvs and or texture is missing in this tool i don't have any uvs it's just plain poly paint so i'm just gonna press ok i'm gonna skip the process of sending any any of those ones okay so right here you see i read like a it went really fast i have my character right there i need to add kind of like some subdivisions to it Let's, uh, for the sake of uh, see how the polypin works here, let's add a subdivision level right there. Let's get this light a little bit better here so we can see it in a render right around there. In fact, I'm just gonna split, no, like that, I'm just gonna split the screen and in this case i'm just gonna go to the shader editor and if you select the face you're gonna look right away that the color attribute is connected so this is the vertex color this is the information of the polypaint is gonna be right there connected so i'm just gonna go to my renders i'm gonna go to cycles uh, gpu complete uh, compute and uh, let's go here and turn off my kind of like ipr of my cycles render and you see that all the information that I have from ZBrush is, of the polypaint is being brought here. So there you go. I have it right there. It's pretty good. So normally for, for the face, the, uh, for the faces that, of the skin that I do, in this I just uh, add a sub the a subsurface cutting point one. I just go with kind of like a red, specular 5, roughness point 6, a chin point 5, and clear coat, clear roughness point 5. And that gives kind of like a, a really nice, really nice uh, uh, kind of like a skin shader that it depends also the subdivision, the subsurface scattering on the size of your model. But this is super simple, you know, no UVs, no retopo. You can even like uh, go to ZBrush and, and if, your, uh, if your model has like a lot of human you know, geometry, you can decimate it. So you can just go, let's see what's there. So we have here. And let's see, like, uh, it has like tons of details. You can just go to C plugin, uh, Decimation Master. 
you can decimate if you don't have any like a retopology there or, or, or any like quads you can decimate so you will keep and use poly paint make sure that it's activated you pre process current that is the current sub 2 and then you decimate current and then you can just do the same steps and bring it to, to blender and it will bring it with the vertex color right connected to it so it's super easy super simple so hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions don't forget, forget to comment share subscribe like and, and be engaged with this channel it will help me a lot take care and have an amazing amazing day bye